Good morning, everyone. I'm Alan Franks. My wife, Carol, and I have been members of this church since 2018. Uh, this is the first time we've been a member of a Methodist congregation. So it's, it's been a learning experience, um, how things are done in this church, some of the common hymns. In fact, sometimes during uh, choir rehearsal, John will look at the group of us there and say, oh, everybody knows this hymn. And a few of us will look back at him and say, no. <laughs> anyway, um, as stated in the church's mission statement and on the banner, hanging outside the Embry Room, First United Methodist Church is a reconciling congregation, which we learned meant that everyone was welcome at this church. This attitude was attractive to us. I've also heard Pastor Marty state on a few times during her welcome to the church service that whether you are a believer, a non-believer, or if you're not sure what to believe that you are still welcome here. I think that I often fall into that latter category, but I guess that may just go along with the fact that I haven't still decided what I want to do when I grow up. <laughs> I was also interested in becoming involved in the church's active music program. I had played bells at three other churches, which we attended, and I had been raised in a family where everyone was a member of the church choir. I remember when I was younger and not old enough to be in the choir, but my mother, my father, I think I had an uncle and an aunt, and my older sister were in the choir, and I used to sit on the choir director's bench. She was our next door neighbor. <laughs> um, so going along with that, I grew up in a small village downstate a little ways. The church, a small reformed church, was a central component of the community. For me, my family was aspect was active in all aspects of the church, from Sunday school, youth fellowship, um, consistory, which is equivalent to, I guess, our church council here, um, was often made up by my immediate family and, and extended family. Story about the consistory, um, when I was confirmed, which was at the end of ninth grade, our last thing we had to do was sit before the consistory and I don't remember exactly how many people were on the consistory. It wasn't a large church, so there was only six or eight people. But I sat down before the board. My father, my aunt, my uncle, my boss were four members of the consistory. They all looked at me, and they looked at each other. Well, who's going to ask him a question? <laughs> okay. Um, the, um, everyone in the church, though, I was always at the church. It was a short walk down the street, which is kind of where we are now, because I walked to church whenever possible. Um, it was part of my extended family. I have found that same feeling here at First Church. Everyone here is family, and this beautiful church building is part of our home. Now, for the last year, I've served as the chair of the finance committee a big learning experience, believe me. I've had good mentors. This week, you may or should have received a, an envelope which contained a letter from Pastor Marty and a pledge sheet. I would ask that you consider how much you can contribute to help fund the mission and activities of the church during the next year, during 2023, and help maintain this beautiful building where we gather regularly with members of our church family. You can send it back. I filled mine out last night, and I'm going to put it in the offering plate. All right. Thank you.